Please help me welcome to the stage our honoree, Allison Janney. Now, I know we all want to hear from Allison, but we have a few special guests who've asked to say a few words about their friend. So our first speaker was seen in the hit show, The West Wing, with our honoree. His other shows include Relativity, Ally McBeal, The Practice, Chicago Hope, and NBC's ER. He is often asked to guest star on several shows, most recently The Grinder, Once Upon a Time, and Mom. Please welcome award-winning actor Richard Schiff. This is my life. Oh, oh my God, uh, you, you play Toby on the West Wing. Uh, you're my favorite character ever. I love you so much. But I really love Alice and Janney. <laughs> when I was 12 or 13, you know, the, pu uh, the pubescent age, I first saw Anne Margaret in Bye Bye Birdie. And I thought out loud, probably, that exists on this earth. The very first time I acted with Alice and Janney, I thought probably out loud, that exists on this earth. I got a phone call recently. I know you hate this stuff, but I'm getting a star on Hollywood Walk of Fame, and I know you hate it, but I'm asking you to speak for me, and you don't have to say anything. Just be funny and say you love me because I know you love me, and I want you to do it because I love you, and even if you hate me for asking you, I'm still going to ask because you do love me, so shut up and just do it. To which I said, Allison? <laughs> yes, it's Allison. It's Allison who you love, and I wouldn't ask you, but I want to ask you, and I know you don't want to because I wouldn't want to, so please don't ask me if this ever happens to you, but I'm asking you, so please just do it and don't hate me. And just, you just have to say a thing or two that you love me and be funny. For God's sakes, be funny. <laughs> And oh, they're giving you two minutes. <laughs> two minutes. You're Allison, done. You're done. I, I'll, that's all right, that's all right. <laughs> Allison, I don't hate you. I could never hate you. I despise you. <laughs> two minutes to tell the world why we love you so much and why we think you're the most amazing talent to grace large screen and small and stage two. By the way, two minutes to tell stories of how wondrous and exciting it is to work with you how you astonish us, thrill us, make us laugh till it hurts so much we cry. How you make us cry so hard we have to laugh. Two minutes to talk about American Beauty and Tallulah and Juno and, and Big Night and dozens of other great parts and great movies and Masters of Sex and Mom and oh yeah, The West Wing. Two minutes, okay. <laughs> uh, so I recruited some help. I asked our West Wing castmates for four words, because we only have two minutes, to describe our beloved Allison. Some were cooperative and some not so much. Mary McCormick, four words. Richard, why four words? <laughs> because Mary, we have two minutes. Aaron, Aaron Sorkin, Allison, four words, seriously? Yes, Aaron, because we have two minutes. Josh, graceful, disarming, vulnerable, and a fourth thing. Which, by the way, Josh, that was seven words. Get a calculator. <laughs> Dulé, reliable Dulé, humble, genuine, consistent, and amazing. The end was an ampersand, so it's, it counts. The lovely Janelle, wild, hilarious, delicate, kind. The lovely Brad, statuesque, goofy, vulnerable, kind. Melissa, unbreakable, selfless, loyal, loving. And Tommy, Tommy Shlami, four words. Which one was she? <laughs> then he goes on to say, nah, absolutely, unequivocally, the best. Whoa. Tommy insisted uh, that I use all eight words because he hates it when someone finishes on time. <laughs> In inside joke. 
Um, and from the Twitterverse, I, I held a contest on Twitter, and, and so many, hundreds if not thousands, maybe millions of people, um, uh, beautiful and amazing, but I went with the one that, that, that was quoted the most, which was, I had Woot Canal. You know, when I, when I uh, came out of the West Wing audition for the, uh, the Warner Brothers phase, and I, and I was notoriously um, reticent about doing this show, I was nervous, and Tommy was very kind at the time and helped me along, but yes, I'm not stupid. I wasn't sure I wanted to do this show. And I came around uh, uh, d during that, uh, after the audition, and I saw a bunch of uh, women, um, actresses, sitting, uh, reading, uh, you know, their auditions and working very hard, and so amazing uh, actresses, and I thought, oh, this must be the CJ pool. And um, I stopped in my tracks because I saw one actress who I, 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 I remember, she's the one, I said, oh my God, she's the one who was hanging by the banister in primary colors. I love her. She's the one who burnt her hand on, uh, in, 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 in the big night. Uh, I, I, I adore her. Um, and, and then I realized I had seen you three times uh, on, uh, off off Broadway back in New York. And I thought, she's brilliant, and what the hell is she doing off off Broadway? And then I probably said out loud, if these guys cast her, then they know what they're doing. And as it turns out, they did know what they were doing. There is no one on earth or beyond I'd rather be stuck in, an, in the acting trenches with than Allison Janney. Allison on set, when she's acting, is hyper-present, acutely truthful, penetrating, playful, and makes no less than and makes you no less than a hundred times better than you otherwise would be. When we acted together, we never knew who the camera was on, and we didn't care. We were having too much fun. I'll give you an example of how penetrating Allison can be. We were doing a show called Mr. Willis of Ohio, um, and if Aaron is here, that was a pretty good show. I think Tommy directed. I don't know, but um, I had to get up. Toby had to get up from. Playing po we were all playing poker in, in Leo's office, and I, I was supposed to watch Mr. Willis cast a vote. And um, so I got up, and uh, we started to shoot, and there was nothing on the TV screen. It was a green screen, because they hadn't shot that sequence yet. And I thought I was just going to react to, to, that, to what I saw, and I, I was stuck. And I remember Allison, of the many things she taught me, taught me just to look around the room and and just find something that might give you a spark or, 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 or an inspiration. Or, or so, so I did. I took a breath and I looked around the room and I caught Allison's eyes. And she must have known that something was going on. And she tilted her head a little bit and smiled. And uh, being a man, I might have misinterpreted that as a <laughs> seductive smile. <laughs> but it gave me a thought. It gave me a thought in my head and I went, perfect, that's a gift. And so I did, this, I did the scene and uh, watched Mr. Willis and created the moment. Three days later, Tommy Shalami comes running up to me, charging at me, which he did quite often, actually, and uh, grabbed grab me by the soldiers and said, that was the most brilliant moment I've ever seen, the most brilliant internal acting I've, I've ever seen. It was stunning. What were you, what were you thinking? I said, well, I, I was just acting. <laughs> and so I, I, uh, today, for the first time, I'm going to reveal what the thought was that you had sparked in me it was, all I did was look at the screen and just think this one thought. What would it be like to have sex with Alice and Janney? <laughs> so if anyone ever, if there's a young actor out there who wants to be brilliant in an internal moment, just think, what would it be like to have sex with Alice and Janney? Allison once said, <clears throat> if I could stomach the awful part of being a veterinarian, which involves sticking your hand up animals' behinds, I would be a vet. Allison, we're very glad that you were grossed out and chose another path. <laughs> she also said, an agent said he didn't know what to do with me. I wouldn't be able to play any parts but lesbians and aliens. I can only speak for myself. A lesbian alien, I hope that prediction comes true at least once sometime soon. She has said, I love wasting time and learning to lip sync songs. It's a silly hobby of mine. I think you should share that talent with the rest of us at some point. It may lead to something. <laughs> she also said, it's a great way to start the day hearing you've been nominated for an Emmy. It's just thrilling. It must be nice to be thrilled almost every day of your life. <laughs> and she said, I can tell when men are threatened by my height. Well, just so you know, we are threatened by your height. 
We're threatened by your talent. We're threatened by your sexy. We're threatened by your passion. Your laugh is threatening. Please, Allison, please don't ever stop threatening us. I am in awe of Allison Janney. Like a 14-year-old boy watching Anne Margaret and Bye Bye Birdie for the first time, only she's also Meryl Streep and Barbara Stanwyck and Shirley MacLaine and Lily Tomlin and Carol Burnett and Lucille Ball and Marilyn Monroe. You make the easy scenes delightful, the fun scenes hysterical, the arduous scenes painless and somehow joyful, and the impossibly dangerous and raw scenes possible and somehow inevitable. If I were an aspiring actor, this spot is where I would study and contemplate my career. If I were a young woman, this star is what I would gaze at to imagine my life. If I were homeless, this is the spot on which I would sleep. And if it was me, I'd stand on this spot and tell the world how much we all love you, Allison, and that no one, no one in this world is more deserving of this honor than you. And by the way, I still despise you. <laughs>